ladies. So, um, this is just going to be an update. It was probably not going to be quick because I have a lot to show you more than talk about. Um, so I am eight weeks and five days, or four days, four or five days, today. Um, everything is going good. I still don't have any symptoms really except for I'm just tired. And every now and then I'll get, um, I guess you could say nauseous. Um, so that's it really. I really have nothing else going on symptom wise. So tired and somewhat nauseous. But I did have my appointment today. I had two appointments. I had one with my fertility clinic. And this was my last appointment. I graduated to an OP. And then I also had my second um, OB appointment. Well, it's my second appointment with an OB, but it's a different OB than the last time because I was not happy with my OB um, that I went to last time. So, first I'll go over my appointment at the fertility clinic. They basically they just did an ultrasound. Um, everything looks good. We got to see the heartbeat. They didn't. Their equipment's a little bit dated, I guess, because we didn't get to hear the heartbeat. Um, so, I'm trying to think. Yeah. So we got to see the baby. Baby measured, you know, right where it should be. Um, heartbeat looks great. Um, he told me I can start weaning off when I said I hit nine weeks, which I, w I think is Friday, but I might wait till Saturday or Sunday just to make sure. Um, but once I hit nine weeks, he said, if I want to, I can start weaning off of some of my meds. Um, and he told me the order, but to be honest, I can't remember, so I'm going to have to call him tomorrow. And I don't know why they didn't write him down for me. That would have been the ideal thing. But whatever. God, I hate my double chin. I'm sorry, guys. I just need light bulb right there. Hopefully it doesn't get worse with pregnancy. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so... Um, I know the first thing I can start with is the lozenges, which is great because they taste like crap, and I have to do them three times a day. So starting, like I said, Saturday or Sunday, I can start weaning myself off of that, and eventually I'll be on just um, the progesterone cream, the vaginal cream, um, my metformin, uh, my prenatal, and my low-dose aspirin. And the OB will be the one um, who will advise me when I can stop that. But from what it looks like, I can pretty much stop probably everything. Um, or I will stop everything um, at 12 weeks, except for the prenatal. So, that was that appointment. Um, I do have some ultrasounds from that appointment, so I'll put them on here. Now, what's really funny is I, I'm i horrible with ultrasounds. Just until the baby's, maybe at 12 weeks or maybe not even until 20 weeks, I really can't tell what I'm looking at. Except for, like, I can see, like, when, like, someone the baby's bigger the spine and stuff. But my husband was with me and he said he noticed it right away. Like the little hand, he said it was like this, like the little hands and the little feet because they're kind of just like stubs at this point. Um, but I'll show you. I won't, uh, they gave me like one, two, sorry, my, my mom's calling, sorry. Um, but here's the baby. Like I said, they might be duplicates, some of them. But that's the one with the heartbeat. Like I said, I think these are all duplicates. And there's again my little thing. Like I said, this is probably the best one. You can kind of see like little feet and legs. Um, so that was really good. So then I had my. She keeps calling. I need something. I'll try to wrap this up quick. Um, so then I had my appointment with the OB. That one great. I loved them. They gave me a bag. This bag right here is like a. I don't know what you call it, but. It's like, um, those bags you put, like, your groceries and stuff, and they're like a dollar. It's like one of those. And it came with all kinds of goodies. This is like a bottle thing with an ice pack in it, and some samples of prenatals, a bunch of baby magazines. So all kinds of goodies. And then they also did an ultrasound. And this is the best picture, is this one. You can see the little baby. And then here, uh, this one, we actually got to hear the heartbeat. So that's when he let us listen to the heartbeat. And there's the baby again. The machine is like way better. So, and then I, they have me, I have to do my nu nuclear something test. So they do like Down syndrome. This. It's this, I don't know. It's like they test for Down syndrome and chromosomal 
things. So I have to do that between 11 and 14 weeks. So that's the next thing I'll have to do. And then I go back on March 28th to see them again. So all in all, I was really happy. Great OB appointment, great fertility appointment. Everything is good. I no longer have to go to the fertility clinic. Um, and I guess that's really it. I don't have a whole lot more going on. Um, I don't know when I'll, I'll definitely do one for sure next week. I don't know if I'll do one before that because, like I said, I really don't have any symptoms. Um, and I haven't bought anything. Um, I might go this weekend to the store and see if I buy something. Um, but, like I said, I really don't have anything else going on, so I might not see you guys until next week. Um, but for now, everything's good. Baby looks good. I'm doing good. I'll do a quick, see if I can do like a quick little belly shot, which is really not much there. Um, and then, I guess that'll be it for me for, t for this week. Which this is kind of like a continuation of last, the seven, eight week video, and then next week I'll do one. It'll be for nine weeks, and I'll start doing them every week after that. But, like I said, I don't think you can see. So, there you go. There's my little belly. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for now, and I guess, like I said, I will probably see you ladies next week. Bye. Thanks for watching.